Tom update jump. I'm sorry, Tops update jumbo. Pick your team number 22. We got a $1,300 platinum bounty. It only applies to non inserts and non autograph one of ones. It's got to be the true. Got to be the true. Got to be the true, guys. Probably do this pack by pack. Gotta be the Platinum 101. Yes, Platinum. Gotta be the true. Can't be an auto and it cannot be a uh, insert. It has to be the true. The true Platinum. There's a Votto on the box topper. So much cards. Thank you, Magic Fan. I appreciate you, JR. How you doing, buddy? Appreciate the push, man. Appreciate that. Going back to bed. <laughs> All right, let's wake up to a Platinum 101 and $1,300 in your account. How's that? Let's wake up that way. How about we wake up in a great way? Box topper of Michael Harris.
judge. Did we have a bounty for 22 update? Yeah, I, oh, I'm sorry. You're talking about a series. I'm sorry. I know what you're talking about. Somebody hit it uh, maybe like a couple weeks back. But we don't even have the product anymore. Yeah. Has it been a couple months already? It was like 11K. What's up, Lopez? Tatis. Yeah, we had a really good day. Fell asleep for a little while back there, but we're up now. We woke up. We're ripping. We woke up. How about a number to 50 box topper of Vladdy Daddy? That's sick. Blue Jays already hitting j Bach with a PC piece. And I don't think I have a top loader for it. Shit. Oh, that, that thing fit perfect.
And there's a Jordan Walker box topper. Good luck. Hunter Brown, rookie. Go to Mendick. 2023 and Devin Williams. J Rod, gold of Urena. Action stars of Corbin, Riley Adams to 2023, Jason Hayward's in the product, oh boy. Red of Finnegan for the Nats, and then there's a gold of BB for the Guardians. The relic of Tatis.
Babe Ruth and Otani tandem. So I guess we gotta left right those. The 299. That's pretty sick. Caleb Hannigan. Gavin Stone. Auto is Valdez on card for the Red Sox. Chris Kim. Aces of John Smoltz. Tatis, Fortes, Gold. PJ Higgins on the update, Batten. Alvarez blue, Mejia gold, Goriel. Um, on it. I mean, honestly, it's really just because of nightmares and stuff. I don't really like nightmares. I mean, truth be told, like when Miss Hamill watches like some of her shows, like sometimes she'll watch like American Horror Story. It doesn't freak me out as much anymore. But the problem is, is um, it's it's like subliminal for me. Like I'll subliminally like watch, and I'm not as psyched out as I once was. But I do freak out every blue moon. Dominguez to four ninety nine, and there's a World Series patch of George Brett. Well, medallion. I'm sorry, not patch, medallion. So the the problem is, is that I'll start to um, I'll I'll remember it. I'll remember like shitty images that I see and things like that, and then while I'm sleeping at night, sometimes like it, it triggers, you know. So like if I'm sleeping or if I'm trying to go to sleep, like my mind is racing. It will bring up like images and stuff like that. And then I just have a very terrible time sleeping. Like I got to calm myself down. And I don't I don't like going through that routine. I, sl I sleep very easy. That's why. Like I don't, I've never had a problem sleeping. 
and I prefer to keep it that way. <laughs> so I think that's the most fair thing I could say. It's not as bad as it once was, like I said, but it's it's definitely not an over exaggeration either. Like I couldn't even go into like a haunted house right now. Like if you told me you guys were going to a haunted house, I'd deny it. Zach Nito, rookie auto for the Angels. That's a pretty big Angels hit for Jared. What's up, PD? To 50, it's James Krasanik. And there's a gold of Gavin Stone for the Dodgers. Grom
Ooh, a black of Morel for the Cubbies. 10 of 72. That's sick. My first black. There's Syndergaard. Bat and gold. Juan Marichal for the Twins, Miller. Trey Turner, Maeda, Gold. Oh, Pops, thanks for the Musubis the other night, by the way. Catfish, Krimire. Am I getting another auto here, or was the needle my only auto I'm getting? Am I getting another auto, um, even if it's an insert auto, or is it just the insert and tough luck? Hawaiian scaredy cats. Yeah, I think that's that's a fair statement. That's that's fair. Takes a man to admit it, you know. All right, last stack in box two. Good luck. We'll do our chrome cars last, guys. Chrome cars will be last. Go to Fletcher for the Diamondbacks. There's a Senga on the black gold. Nah, I know you're teasing. I ain't got no problems admitting it, though, truthfully. If I did, I wouldn't admit it. Think about it a lot, though. Like, you, you think about, like, self-growth. I mean, you think about, like, you know, self-improvement, growth. It's like some days you got to come face to face with your greatest fears in order to grow, you know. That's a big lesson too. And I'm pretty proud. I, I definitely, wow, that's a huge card. 
Aronis Chapman, Orange, Maggie, Houston. Dirty Dude, me and you are connecting big today, Dirty Dude. How about a 9 of 10, Jose Altuve? World Series Relic. Medallion, I keep saying it. Dirty Dude, that's huge. It's a big one, Dirty Dude. That's 9 of 10. That's a disgusting one, Dirty Dude. Maddox, he was a cubby. Yeah, dude, that's a sick one. That is genuinely a pretty cool one. Drysdale. Gilded is pretty sick. I've never opened Gilded. I know you're not talking to me, but I like Gilded. Gilded is sick. I've never seen it before, truthfully. Uh, I'm sorry. not. I've never not seen it. I've seen it before. I've never ripped it before. Excuse me. Tommy Farm might be related to Super Farm. I think the design is pretty solid, PD Mac. 
And, that, and that's cool, definitely. Like, I, I mean, I respectfully disagree with it. I like the gold color. I kind of like the I like the outlining of the cards. I think it I think it visually is appealing to me. That's all. Oh, home field advantage of Shea Rangariers. Tony G to 300. Romy G, I'm sorry. Edwards Gold. There's Carlos Correa, Major League Materials. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. PD Max, not a fan of gold. That Jackie was so disgusting. <clears throat> Blue Stephen Kwan, is that a number? Hmm. Interesting. Diaz for the Athletics is our on-card auto. There's Bryce Miller. Ooh, these are a ton of cards. Do they not resell very well? j -Bock, just curious. Jeter. 
Gold of Drew Smith. Oh, doors in this product too. Oh gosh. Every time I hear that name, I just think of a freaking punch. A punch to uh or technically a right hook, right? <laughs> to uh Mr. Bautista. Ah. Uh, Ooh, nice black Volpe for the Yankees. DJ Antino. That's sick to $2.99. Doyle Gold. Mejia to one ninety nine. It's the Judge MVPs. That's cool. There's an Adley Action Stars. Is that tier one? Tier one's always a fun rip. boy flower I'm a fan of new parallels I'm not a fan of the gimmicky parallels I guess if that makes any sense like I'm all down for innovation and everything but like I'll take a look at it after. I gotta get through this. I got about another 30 minutes of this at least. Gotta use all my focus powers. I gotta dig deep and uh, focus. Garrett Mitchell for the Brewers. Barry Zito on the Aces.
triangle. No, I'm alive. Demo, I'm ripping my favorite, my absolute most favorite product of all time, Topps Jumbo. I'm happy as shit. I'm alive. Can't you tell, Demo, I'm alive. I'm beyond alive. We're ripping my favorite product in the whole world. I mean, look at all this paper. I just can't get enough. It's it's a, it's it's beautiful. Look at it. Look at those action stars. Look at that orange. Look at that. It's just missing the number to 25 on it, but it's still orange, you know? When my friends ask me to see my collections and stuff like that, I tell them. They're like, oh, what you got? I'm like, oh, shit, I got an orange CNO Perez. You know, and they're like, oh, shit, that's my picture. I'm like, hell yeah. Car and Peralza gold. Yankees doing pretty well, actually. DJ Antino. Nice. Now we're chilling. It's probably the last break radio demo. Oh, that's sick. Lots of number to those. Chapman again. George Brett to 75 on the World Series uh, medallion. Nolan Ryan. I know, I'm getting hungry too. I gotta eat something. I am getting a little hangry right now. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, shit, what am I doing? Is that what you guys call it? Take away, not take out? Demo? Us on the state side, we say we order take out. In Hawaii, we just, we just say plate lunch. Oh, what you ate for dinner? Oh, I took out plate lunch. Something like that. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. <laughs> I don't like DiGiorno, actually. I used to actually really like Tombstone, but Tombstone is way different back in the day. Tombstone used to be like my absolute favorite like pizza. 
I actually do. I, I don't mind Red Baron, believe it or not. Some people don't like Red Baron. I don't mind Red Baron. I don't really care for CPK pizza. Walmart pizza is okay. I mean, honestly, not really. I mean, so I, I can honestly say this. So, uh, I mean, when we're in Hawaii, I eat a lot of like Pizza Hut or something like that. We've recently, and when I say recently, I'm saying like within the last 10 years, they got like places like Pyology, Brick Oven Pizza. Uh, Brick Oven Pizza has been there for like maybe like 15 years, but like we got some of those places. There's a couple of places that get it close, like uh, Brick Oven Pizza. I mean, I'm sorry, Brick Oven. We have what they call a Boston's pizza, which is different from what I've been told. It's different from, like, the Boston pizza that you guys know. But they make theirs, like, huge pizzas, and I'm, I'm actually learning to kind of like it. Trevor Williams, gold. But, yeah, like, like over here, them, like, it's crazy because, like, I see, like, Esplez them. And this just, this just speaks to my character, in other words. They'll order places like over here in Vegas, and it, obviously it's not like your, it's not like a Papa John's, it's not like a, um, not a Pizza Hut, not a Domino's. Because when I think of Pizza that's what I think of. I think of like Pizza Hut and shit. But they order like, from like these mom and pops, like New York places and stuff like that, and they're actually really good. Alar, go to Revis. Hello. Hello. What's up? Someone to say goodbye and have a great night. You too, brother. Thanks, dude. What you want? You want to rip the rest of this? All right, big you gal. I'm, you know, I've been ripping all night. So. <laughs> You've been ripping all night, eh? No, nah, cat has. <laughs> I've been hanging out. I've been supervising. Supervising. Yes. With the supervisor? Yes. <laughs> I like. I'm not a very good supervisor. I am. Later, guys. Later, yeah. Nick. No, no, um. Try look up try look up Boston's Pizza Hawaii. There's only like a couple of places. It's on Oahu. But they opened like in the 90s. I remember being a kid because I actually lived like a couple blocks from it. And our blocks in Hawaii, it's very small. He was playing Oregon Trail. He was playing Oregon Trail. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see where like he was going. No, did you look it up? Like look up Boston's Pizza in Hawaii Durango and try and look at it. I haven't ate there in like ten plus, fifteen plus years. But they had a pretty good like spinach pizza that I used to like. Is it pretty accurate? Wait, sorry, I don't remember what I asked. Wait, good, good or bad, Durango? Good or bad? Sorry, I don't remember what I said. Does it look good? You said not at all, or, or I don't remember what I said. I never did see Jabberwockies. Oh, just not the same type, yeah. So that was pretty much the only places we really had in Hawaii, to be honest with you. So to, to be honest, I don't know if that's real pizza.
But like Esplas them over here, like they buy from like these, you know, like Grimaldi's and you know all these New York style pizzas or things like that. And um, I mean, number one, these pizzas are like thirty, forty dollar pizzas, and I'm like, you know, Jay Bach, I don't know if you're still out there, but I'm literally thinking in the back of my head, I'm like, I'm like, why am I gonna spend forty bucks on a pizza? I'm gonna buy this. You know, two large, two toppings from Pizza Hut, and it's 20 bucks. You know, I like, that's like the first thing that like runs through my head. <laughs> as bad as that is, not to always make things about money, I promise. But it's like, it's one of those things where I'm happy with Pizza Hut. I'm happy with a Sam's Club pizza. Ooh. Oh, Hoppy and a Jordan Diaz for the Athletics Black Auto to 199 no, no, yeah, yeah, so, so, so Grimaldi's is actually really damn good, like, real damn good, dude. Pizza Rock. What is that? Pizza Rock. I've never ate at Pizza Rock, and I frequent downtown very, fr down hang out with me. I never got the call. Take, my when did I ever get the call to go eat at, um, there? There's an open invitation all day, every day. If I know about it. <laughs> I didn't say you never invite me. I just don't know when you go. <laughs> which are, which are, there's there's a couple locations now, right? Or is it only the one downtown? For Pizza Rock. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Green Valley Ranch. That's right. That's right. Yeah, no, no. I've, I've just, I'm just saying I've never, like, you know, like, I guess I just never wanted to spend. It's kind of like, kind of like going to a steakhouse, right? Like, I don't want to spend $100 on steak when I can go to the grocery store and pay $20 and have the, have the steak prepared my way and I can have it fresh. And, you know, like, things like that. Again, as... as Not to make it sound about money, because it's exactly what it sounds like I'm making it about. Hello, love. Hello. You look so excited opening this product. Yeah, I love this product. It's my favorite. Would you like to open this? No, it's okay. I wouldn't want to ruin the fun for you. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm loving it. <laughs> Whoa. Mr. Tom, you want to go to Pizza Rock with me? No. I wish. My husband and my boyfriend are coming. I know. It sounds good. <laughs> you have no clue. I am beyond starving. Hi, Dave. I finished that um that series by the way the the ushers. That was really good. I didn't know it was by the um the same people who did the Haunted Hill. Lame. I love that those series. Love it. It's so good. Yeah, I love top scroll love love tops update. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it for the people watching the replay. I love it. I'm doing it for you. I oh, love this. Oh, I like that show too. I love those type of movies or shows. Are you watching me on the computer? Then? No, I got a demo sent me a message on IG and showed me how excited you were to open this. <laughs> he texted me and he's like, he's like, you dead? You just flew through something, SSP. Oh, did I? This one? Thanks, Jay Bach. I'm distracting him. I'll go to my husband. You're not distracting. Okay, wait, hold on. What met SSP? You said I just passed it. Okay, 
it couldn't be there. It was even backwards. Wait, wait, wait. Did I? Wait, not this one, right? Not not Thomas Needle. This, this is the one in my case pile. Was it this one? This is in my this is in my case pile. That's why I just didn't get a chance to case it. This one? This is the only SSP. I, I didn't mean to blow. I didn't mean to blow past it, but it's in there. It's in my case pile. Immediately pile. <laughs> I didn't know it was a uh, SSP to be honest with you though, but but it's right here. It's with my golds. It's with my golds. I promise. SSP of that guy. I'm actually not familiar with him, though. Good, 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 good catch. I'm glad you guys call it out. I promise. Actually, you know, I think that's my first SSP. This is only the second or third case. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that bigger than it being numbered, to be honest with you? Because like, I, I don't even know who that is, to be honest. Because I just flip it like that. Mark Burley. Stout Mejia. Demo, that's the face of concentration, Demo. That's the face of concentration. <laughs> oh. And uh, Miss Hama comes in and she's like, she's like, oh, you're ripping your favorite product. And I'm like, are you watching me? Oh. I promise. No, if I, if I, if I ever, um, if I ever make that face, I promise you, it's not a sad face. It's a concentration face. <laughs> I promise. You guys can watch, cause there's so much cards. It's like I don't want to miss it. You know, I'm like shit. Goldsmith, Gold of Miller. BB, Duval, Sean Murphy. My favorite baseball product, PD. Um, I was always a Bowman guy. Like, I, I hate to say things like that and not have a Bowman collection anymore. But for me, Bowman was my prism because, like, even in basketball, I'm pretty much a prism select kind of guy, even optic to a degree. I'm a mid-end collector. I'm not a, I'm not a super high-end collector. Like, I don't have a lot of autos anymore, um, like jersey patch autos and everything like that. But for high end, I do have preferences. Like, believe it or not, like one of my favorite high end products, like for basketball and stuff like that, is gonna be um, like Spectra. Oh, that's a nice red and gold. But like, I like um, for like high end um, baseball, Dynasty is cool, and I also like um, I also like like not trying to be high end. My favorite is probably like Definitive like that. I enjoyed Definitive a lot. That was my first high-end baseball product I've bought into like when I rejoined the hobby back in 1718. 
So I was lucky enough. I kind of caught it right before that big boom. But I wasn't like, I don't want to say investing. I hate fucking saying the word investing. I hate using that word. Ooh, that's sick. I wasn't really like full on. I wasn't collecting a flip. I was collecting a collect. So lots of Chris Bryant's and everything. There's a Showtime. Get it. But like in terms of product, I like Bowman. I, I enjoy Bowman a lot. Specifically Bowman, not so much um, like uh, Bowman's first. I mean, Bowman Draft. Draft is fun too. What's up, Aq? Gosh, that uh, that uh, that last night was sick. That last night was good fun with all of us just clowning in there, bro. No, right, no, no, exactly. I, I hate to use that word, but it was like when I was getting back into it, it was one of those things where like I was a huge Chris Bryant guy. Like I really enjoyed Chris Bryant because I seen him his rookie year. You know what I mean? Like that was my first time I went to the Cubby Stadium and everything. So um, I actually had a um, opportunity when I was buying sports cars. Like I bought memorabilia was the problem. No, right, 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 exactly. But, like, Chris Bryant was, like, my number one. So, like, till this day, I kept, like, all my memorabilia of him. So, like, I got, like, the, from, I bought it at the um, Wrigley Stadium. I bought, like, an autograph ball of Chris Bryant with the MLB holographic um, uh, decal on it. Like, how they have on the game used relics over here. Um, you know, things like that. And that's kind of what, that's how I rediscovered sports cards and everything like that, you know. Griffey was always cool, so I started buying, like, jerseys because I enjoyed wearing, like, a Griffey jersey, things like that. So we had, like, had, like Griffey jerseys, Roy Holiday jerseys. I accidentally ordered a Placido Polanco jersey instead of Roy Holiday because it snuck in, my, snuck in my shopping cart on accident, and I was too lazy to return it because I was working, like, six days a week at the time. And then I was, buy I was buying, like, random packs. So I was buying uh, Bowman packs. Didn't know what the hell I was buying. I was buying, um, started going into basketball. You know, and then I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I don't know anything about basketball. Then I started like going to cart or like local. I don't want to say cart shows because in Hawaii, we don't really have them. But now, now they do, obviously. But I went to the trade nights because they used to host them at our LCS back home in Hawaii, which I think they still do periodically. So I started doing that, and then, um, yeah, that's pretty much. And then, then I learned about the concept of breaking, and I'm like, oh, my God, that's genius. <laughs> then I went down the whole spiel, you know. But, like, yeah, I mean, like, I hate to. I hate to do this on the live stream. I really do, but, like, I mean, I'll show you real quick. I'm sure you guys. I'm sure you guys will. I'm sure you guys will recognize. I'm sure you guys will recognize some of the break names, but like, you know, like that's some of the KDs I was hitting when I was joining breaks back in 12. Oh shit! I, I already ruined it. Let's see. I don't know if I can find it. Ooh. Well, yeah, thing, things like that anyway. Pagans and orange.
I said Jimmy. What about you guys? What's your guys' favorite um What's your guys' favorite like uh you guys have like what's your guys' favorite baseball product? What do you guys like? Black of Bernard, gold of Matt Moore. Ooh. Like, what's your favorite? Yeah, like, um, I would say mid-end and then favorite high-end. That, that you guys buy into, obviously. Like, anybody can say my favorite is flawless or my favorite is diamond icons and shit like that. But what is your guys' favorite that you guys actually buy into? Dynasty was sick, you know, it's funny, like, I've seen Dynasty, but I never, I don't know, I mean, I guess Backer, like, when Backer and, and Dakdem was actually doing Dynasty this year, like, it made it so much fun. Watching those guys just go off. Blue of Castillo on the ASG. Factory sealed. Chrome. I like the I like a lot of like even like the um I mean I don't know if you, I would still consider this mid end maybe mid high like uh like tier one I enjoy tier one I'm not just saying that honestly five star museum collection not so much didn't really like museum collection back then um what else um Like I'm missing one more. There's one more. Like another red, nice Solano for the Twins. There's one more I'm missing. I'm trying to think. What about you, PD? Who else is in the chat? What's your guys' favorite products, guys? Talk to me. Kind of curious. I'm think. I can't think. There's one more product I'm missing that I enjoy. Topps Chrome is fun. I mean, Topps Chrome is fun. I, I just rather, I, for me, I'd rather buy Bowman. But I say that because I never understood the photo variations as much. Harris. There's Perez for the fish. I like fi Finest is a fun, cheap break. Yes. Demo, was that you? Demo, was that you? No, but like, but like, um, Bowman never had the like the SP, the SSPs. I started noticing that with the Lubob rookies and stuff, the running the bags and then the glasses and stuff like that, and I was like, what the hell? Demo, let's go, Demo.
Oh, I got you, Petey. I got you. Wow, Demo just hit a huge card. Nice. There's more variations than a complete set, really? I actually, you know, it's funny, Jay, I never knew that. Thanks for letting me know. I had no clue. Huh. That's kind of irritating, but I get it. I get it. It's like the LeBron variations and stuff in 03, 04 tops. They did the same thing, right? LeBron rookie variation. I forget what they called it already. But LeBron was the same way. Oh, they do come in parallel. Oh, that's even more interesting. That's kind of cool. That's one of those you got to pray that one of the rookies like just blow up like Otani, Jordan Walker, and Casey Smith. Wait, the mega boxes have different variations? Really? How long has that been going on for? Has that been going on for a long time or like like only a couple years maybe? Wait, this is all news to me. Great hit, sir. Great hit. I heard Esplez yelling and I looked at the monitor because I have you up on the monitor over here. And I, I, I seen you say, is that for you? And I thought you were kidding, and then you said, oh, shit, thanks. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Really? Oh, shit. See, that's funny, because I was buying the Wander Franco year, right? Joey Bartz and all like that. I say this shit all the time. Like, I went to Target one day. And my friend then was like, oh, Bowman. Why don't we go rip some Bowman? I'm like, all right. It was forty dollars, thirty dollars, and I think, I think LCS's was paying fifty because they were selling them for like seventy-five or eighty bucks. Again, I could be wrong on the dollar amounts there, but I'm I'm pretty close on it. I remember that, and I I hit like one Wander Mojo. That was it, a base first Wander Mojo. I actually see, like, you guys are teaching me this. Like, I, I, I didn't buy, I was buying Bowman Hobby Boxes, the Vlad year, which was the same. I was buying the Vlad year Hobby Boxes, and I, I scrubbed it. I couldn't even tell you who the hell I hit. Hey, Henry Aaron, Hammerin' Hank. I like that. That's a sick card. I'm going to top load that just because I like it. I couldn't even tell you. I, I, I did so bad in that year, Bowman, and that's when I started trying basketball. That's how bad that's how bad I did. But I remember everybody chasing the mega box autos of Wander and stuff, and I was like, alright. I was like, let me go try chase somebody that everybody wants and make some money on the flip. Ichiro to $199 for the Mariners.
That's all I remember doing. Oh, sick. Sick. Good thing I'm top loading it then. <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, that's sick. I don't think I ever remember seeing it. That was a pretty good case, truthfully. Let's do our chrome packs next. Good luck. Chrome back time. Bieber fever. Ortiz. Ryan Howard, the big man. And Craig Biggio. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. They'll all be case, guys. Those will probably be cased after the break. David Stone, Strider, Baby Ruth, and Gary Carter. Come on, let's get an auto. Here we go. Blue coming. <clears throat> Might have some. <laughs> Yoshida, Severino, Joey Weimer. Does it have ink? It doesn't. Adam Wainwright. Happy retirement to that stud. Wayno, come on, let's get an auto in here. The orange is having okay. I did one case, like I said, of this, so I don't. I'm not like super well versed with it, but I, obviously I'm getting the pattern down again. Vope, Brooks Robinson, Bobby Miller, and Yuris Perez. There's another blue coming. Nito, Mike Trout, McLean. And Joe Maurer for the Twins. He's off in the retirements too. And he looks so old, by the way. Like, I hate saying it, but I seen him recently at uh, Target Stadium, like earlier this season, and I was like, holy crap, he aged. Funny when you don't, when you don't like, when you, when you compete at such a high level and you're exercising and strict diet, or fairly strict dieting. And then it's like when you stop, it's like, holy crap. Bradley, Judge, J.J. Blade, and Shane Bieber, Fever. Come on, let's go. I wasn't in the hobby when Joe Maurer was, was out. I definitely wasn't. I was still in, like, middle school. What was his rookie year? Like, I couldn't even, I couldn't even tell you his rookie year right now. That's how bad it is. 03? J. Rowe. Gunner, Mookie, there's an auto. And it's a good one. For the Bull Sox, Chris Kim with the Masitaka Yoshida Mojo Auto. Nice hit, Chris Kim. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, 02. Yeah, 01, 02. It was right around there. I was still in intermediate school. Guys, what do we think about flashbacks, by the way? Should we bring in some flashbacks since I got some of you guys here? I don't know anything about it. You guys are more sharp than I am when it comes to it. And Pedro. Come on. Last pack mojo. Good luck. Let's see, I'm on. Oh, orange. Orange. Oh, maybe another auto. Come on. Come on. Is 
Is there an auto? There's no auto. There is. Wow. Pairing. Chase. How about an orange auto of Gunner? Let's go, Chase. 11 of 25 with the monster Gunner. Let's go. <coughs> nice, JC. <coughs> nice hit, Chase. That is, yeah, it's pretty sick. That's a sick hit for Chase, too, man. That's sick. All right, Chase. That's a sick one, dude. That's a sick one. That's my best hit out of this. I'm glad. I'm glad we did it. See? All right. I'm going to random this between the Bull Sox and the Angels real quick, and then we'll recap, guys. We'll recap right after that. All right, dice roll, ace, deuce, or higher. Between the Red Sox and Angels, we're going eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The Angels get it. The Angels will get it. Peterson. Note that down, and then let's recap it. That goes to the Angels. Look at that Altuve red for the dirty, dirty. For the real dirty, dirty. Yeah, Stujo did put the holes back. Yes, Pairing snagged it. Dude, I know Trout is. You know what's really funny about it though? Like, that's the two. That's some of my biggest regrets. When Trout kind of came out, I know he had a low scout rating and everything. I remember I liked him though. I didn't think much of him, but I liked him. And obviously, I wasn't making, you know, I was making like, what, 40-something thousand a year when I was like 19, 20 years old. So it's not like, not like I had disposable income, you know, buying, buying my car and buying stupid shit and stupid shit and more stupid shit. Gunner sick for pairing. That's going to beat the sword for sure. All right. And that is the break, guys. Thank you very much. Sweet.